the United States warmly welcomes IDLO's appropriately ambitious strategic plan for 2021 to 2024. We have a lot of work to do. The plan highlights that even before COVID-19, roughly two thirds of humanity lacked the ability to meaningfully access justice. The plan also accurately links widespread frustration stemming from government's inability to meaningfully address corruption, which has been referenced many times during today's discussion, and inequality with intensifying armed conflicts and humanitarian crises throughout the world. But here's the good news. The plan also references the growing recognition of the importance of rule of law and access to justice in sustaining peace and development. And here's where IDLO comes in. As was re repeatedly underlined uh, both during this morning's meeting of the IDLO Assembly of Parties, as well as during this afternoon's panel discussion, IDLO is uniquely positioned to design and implement rule of law, law programs for each host country's unique situation. IDLO is a trusted and apolitical partner. I encourage all of you to ask a beneficiary about IDLO's work to raise awareness about gender-based violence and or to build local capacity to prosecute crimes involving human trafficking. I am confident that you would hear that IDLO's people-centered, country-owned approach leads to concrete results and that host countries intend to continue their partnership with IDLO or that work on their own. In conclusion, we firmly believe that today's strategic plan, the strategic plan un, un, unveiled today strikes the right balance of addressing today's crises while anticipating those of tomorrow.